Manchester United's recent 3-0 loss to Manchester City has once again highlighted the problems facing the club. While Manchester City's stability and clear vision have led to their success, United is struggling with uncertainty over ownership, a public falling out between the manager and players, supporter unrest, and questions over recruitment. Point one person who had a clear assessment of United's issues was Ralph Rangnick, the interim manager who arrived at Old Trafford in November 2021. Rangnick emphasized the importance of continuity, consistency, and a clear identity in successful clubs like Manchester City and Liverpool. He believed that United needed to develop and improve in these areas to achieve success. However, United chose to focus on their own recruitment plan, investing over £350 million in players like Case Miro, Christian Eriksen, Tyrell Malaysia, Anthony, Rasmus Hodgland, Mason Mount, and Sofian Amrabat. While some of these signings were praised, there are questions about whether they were truly the right fit for the club and if United pursued easy deals instead of addressing their core issues. Furthermore, the ongoing standoff between manager Eric Ten Hag and winger Jadon Sancho reflects poorly on both sides. Sancho's social media post criticizing his exclusion from a match led to tensions within the squad. It raises questions about Ten Hag's management style and whether he has effectively handled the situation. United's search for strategic alternatives and the potential involvement of Sir Jim Ratcliffe's Ineos group further complicates the club's future. With overall debt exceeding £1 billion, there are concerns about how Ratcliffe's control of sporting matters will align with the Glazer family's commercial interests. Ultimately, United finds itself in a precarious position, far from the stability and success enjoyed by their city rivals. Rangnick's assessments and recommendations were ignored, and the club now faces the consequences of their choices. It remains to be seen how United will navigate these challenges and find a path back to success. But one thing is clear, without addressing the underlying issues and implementing a clear vision and strategy, United's struggles are likely to continue.